In a previous video, I talked about the brain as a physical system, physical entity, complex system, and its relevance to mental disorders. Actually, psychiatric illness and mental disorders are disturbances to the optimal organization of the physical brain. When the physical brain is optimally organized, then we get emergent properties, which are properties that are more than the sum of elements. So if one neuron here does not have personality, consciousness, mood, and so on, the entire brain collectively as a united, organized, optimal system does have. And mental disorders would be those disturbances that originate from disturbances to this optimal organization of the brain. Now, the only way to look at the brain today is using imaging. Imaging, MRI, fMRI, MEG, and so on, is constructed from signal processing. And in this signal processing, we have the holy grail for finding the etiology, what causes mental disorders, what specifically is the disturbance which is characterizing each one of the phenomenological entities that we know in psychiatry, psychosis, depression, and so on. So the signal processing holds the key to discovering the etiology of mental disorders. And we need to be able to generate some kind of theory that will be at the basis of our effort in signal processing. We have to know which kind of signal processing algorithms we have to look for. And this is based on the theory of what is wrong with the patient. Let's say if someone is psychotic, we have an assumption that there is a disconnection dynamics that creates this kind of um, breakdown that is characterizing psychosis. And it is psychosis is related to millisecond range uh, phenomena like thoughts and uh, perception and so on. So when we are looking at uh, signal processing for psychosis, it should be in a time window, which is a time window of millisecond range, and it should be related to whole brain disconnection dynamics. So you can see in this way that how we generate hypothesis for finding the etiology of mental disorders and applying it to uh, signal processing. For example, in depression, we know that changes take place in months and weeks. So there is no reason to develop signal processing of millisecond range. We have to have a signal processing of weeks and months in order to discover the underlying causes of depression, for example. So these are the relations between the physical system, uh, signal processing, and discovering what causes mental disorders. And if you want to participate in this effort, if you want to be updated, if you want to join our club of psychiatrists, advanced psychiatrists, uh, then you are invited for this channel. And also go to my website, brainprofiler.online.